Hey guys, um, today I thought I'd come on here to do a, 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 an intro in person because today's video is a little bit different. I found these screenshots on my phone recently. They're Instagram story replies from like back in December. I asked people um, to give me some of their favorite quick lazy snacks they like to make at home. I wanted some weird food combinations, strange guilty pleasure foods, um, and I decided to try some of these in today's video. So most of today's ideas are not really fully fleshed out recipes, but rather experiments that turned out good, mostly. Let me know how you like this format of me recreating your ideas, and I might do something like this again. Was I in focus for any of this? I don't know. But yeah, without further, without further ado, let's get into these ideas. For this first idea, I want to recreate this one. Roasted dates stuffed with nut butter and puffed rice, I'm assuming. I've actually never had dates baked or roasted before. So first, I took a tiny oven-proof dish and greased it with some coconut oil while the oven was preheating to 180 degrees Celsius. I added the dates to the bowl, made sure they weren't pitted, and placed them into the oven to roast there for 12 minutes. I'm using the cheapest Daglet Noor dates, by the way. I was thinking about adding the nut butter before you bake the dates, so that's something you can try as well. I let them cool for like 5 minutes before adding the peanut butter. We also have this suggestion here of someone saying they like salt on their dates, so I sprinkled some salt on them. I didn't have any puffed rice, so um, I went for the next best thing, dark chocolate. And that, my friends, concludes snack number one. It kind of reminds me of toffee, or for my German viewers, toffee fee, but like the Snickers version of that. So yeah, I like it. I would not be able to finish this plate though. This next one basically has the same chocolate peanut butter theme going on. Chocolate covered rice cakes with peanut butter. It's a classic. I love it. Okay, this one says, hear me out. Courgette ribbons cooked down with a little oil, salt, and garlic powder. Courgettes are zucchinis, right? You don't need a fancy machine to make the noodles. You can just simply use a vegetable peeler. Bring a small to medium-sized frying pan to medium-high with a bit of oil. Add the ribbons. Let them cook for 7 to 10 minutes. I added some salt as well as some of this garlic spice mix. While that's cooking, toast up some bread. I went for this whole wheat toast. I think it's from the organic store. I added the veggies to the bread and finished everything off with some nutritional yeast. This was really good. Thank you, whoever sent me this idea. Um, I think next time I would add some hummus or vegan cream cheese to the bread first. But besides that, loved it. Someone said nooch with a spoon. There are like six different emotions going on here. I don't know how to describe it. I think it's something you gotta experience for yourself. Remember my last breakfast video where I jokingly suggested adding wine to a smoothie bowl and here I am eating a wine smoothie bowl? To the blender we're adding a bunch of frozen fruit. I went for a mix of blueberries and cherries. I want to say strawberries would fit super nicely here as well. I added a teaspoon of maple syrup, vanilla, unsweetened cacao, and red wine, um, which can be subbed for juice. Then I would definitely skip the maple syrup though. I topped this with a single strawberry and some of this white vegan chocolate. Any other topping just didn't make sense to me for this one. Like granola, nah, chia seeds, no. We're going with white chocolate. The color I'm a big fan of. The flavor is interesting and something to get used to because your brain is expecting something different. Um, or at least that was the case for me. The first few spoonfuls tasted like a smoothie where the fruit was just a bit off, but then I remembered, oh yeah, right, that's the wine. But after that first initial, that's weird, I kind of enjoyed it. 
Moving on to an idea that I've been wanting to try and make for so long. It is baked tofu nuggets inspired by a food blog recipe that I'll link in the description. Get three different bowls ready. To the first one, you're going to add cornflakes, the unsweetened kind, or the one that's just lightly sweetened, so not the frosted flakes. After weighing them, I put them- oh, my, my foot is asleep. Okay. <laughs> After weighing them, I put them back into the plastic bag to crush them with my bare hands. Um, yeah, make them as fine as you want them to be. Add salt and any other spice you like. I used an Italian spice mix. Take out about a third of a cup of this mix. We're gonna use it in just a moment. Add cornstarch to the second bowl. And to the third one, I added soy cream. Oat cream works too. If you can't find that either, sub with soy milk or chickpea water. You'll need one block of firm plain tofu. Now, many tofu recipes in general call for you to press the tofu first, as in getting rid of any excess water by putting it through a tofu press or just stacking a bunch of stuff on top of it. Um, the one that I have here is pretty dry already. I just lightly patted it with a paper towel. So if your tofu looks anything like this, I don't think there's any pressing that needs to be done. I first cut in half lengthwise and then into a bunch of ambiguous nugget-esque shapes. Preheat the oven at this point to 200 degrees Celsius. Now take a piece of tofu, dip it into the cornstarch first, then the vegan cream, back to the starch, to the cream, then into the cornflakes mix. Then place it on a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Repeat until all your nuggets have been coated. Now towards the end, the cornflakes bowl will get a little messy, so to help out with that, add your reserved third of a cup of the cornflakes mix you set aside earlier. I hope that made sense. Bake these guys for about 30 minutes. You can eat them right away. Definitely serve them with some kind of sauce. Ketchup, barbecue sauce, hummus. The consistency of these is wild. Like, very, very much reminiscent of chicken nuggets. For this last and final snack, we're going back to your story replies. This idea caught my eye because we have all these things at home. I did saute the kimchi for a few minutes first to kind of tone down the intense flavor it has. I usually love kimchi, but this is one of a kind. I also don't know if the person that suggested this wanted the snack to be served this way. Like, do I warm up the peanut butter? Do I not? I don't know. I was nervous to try this. It was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. A little weird, yes. But the thing is, every kimchi on the planet tastes different. So I can only talk about this one. It's all right. Would I eat it like this again? Probably not. Um, yeah, but that's it. An anticlimactic ending to this. Um, but that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts. If you have a weird lazy snack idea that you would like to share with the world, Leave a comment, and like I said earlier, I might make a part two to this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I will talk to you soon. Bye. I got one campus out of college, so I had to take an oxy because I ran into my ex, but she a little bit of knock. Just play some songs by popping pills. We flew out to Ibiza. I'm counting bills down to Santa Maria. Like, damn, it's nice to meet you. Her is at the cleaners. Like, if you're down a walk.